Penny, no fancy tools, no problem. She's got the survival skills of a hunter and the wit of a village leader. In a world where everyone's still figuring out fire, her real talent is keeping the tribe together with her charm. She may not have invented the spear, but she's got a way of making sure the hunters don't miss their mark. Amy Farah Fowler, neuroscientist of the Stone Age. She's still trying to figure out how brains work, but in this world, she's got to juggle primitive survival with her thirst for knowledge. Socially awkward, sure, but she's already developing prehistoric relationship theories, especially when it comes to her bond with Sheldon. Bernadette rostenkowski Wolowitz, small, but with a voice that echoes across the plains. She's the microbiologist who, in another world, would have been running experiments. Here, she's making sure Howard doesn't get himself eaten. Strong, fierce, and more dangerous than the wild beasts outside the cave. Sheldon Cooper, the tribe's intellectual outlier. While others hunt and gather, Sheldon sits in his stone chair, pondering the laws of nature, scribbling primitive equations on cave walls. Don't ask him to join the hunt. He's busy trying to figure out the universe, even if no one else understands. Leonard Hofstadter. He's got the smarts to invent the wheel and the heart to chase after Penny. In this prehistoric world, his survival instincts are tested, but his loyalty to Penny is what really keeps him going. Half the time, He's just trying to stop Sheldon from driving the tribe crazy with his theories. Howard Wallowitz. He may not be the tallest in the tribe, but his ego is larger than life. In a world without tech, Howard's convinced he'll invent something to make life easier, or at least to impress Bernadette. He's flashy, even in animal skins, always trying to outshine the competition, even if that's just the other hunters. Rajesh Kuthrapali. He's got the talent to read the stars, but can barely talk to the women in the tribe. Until he gets a sip of fermented fruit, Raj is stuck in silent mode. Once he's had a drink, though, he's the smoothest talker in the prehistoric world. Stuart Bloom, the outsider who somehow became part of the tribe. He's not exactly the strongest or the smartest, but he's there surviving alongside the others. He may not have invented fire, but he's definitely the guy who keeps everyone entertained around it.